Hey, this is Sean Mysell, owner at Wayback Arcades, and in this video, I'm going to show you the perfect Facebook ad setup and videos to push more of your e-com products in the customer's hands. And so what you're looking at right here is one of my first uh, businesses. It was a tactical company that sold uh, optics for, for guns. And basically, we sold over... Five million dollars worth of product. We stopped mainly because we just supply chain after COVID kind of killed us. But what you can see here is there's a whole lot of proof. <laughs> These are real purchases over seven, you know, like three quarters of a million dollars spent, and that's just on Facebook. We spent, um, you know, another uh, half a million on Google, and so I'm just going to focus on Facebook today. But I will show you Google as well, and I'm going to show you one of the perfect types of campaigns if you run an ecom e-com business. So what I did here is I'm going to show you just the ad part because I think that's the most important. I think I'm going to trust that, you know, you're targeting everything. We did. We just left it open uh, after a while because we just saw, you know, saw great results. But I want to show you something really interesting here is this is a retargeting ad and this is a cold traffic ad. And you can see that the actual um, CPAs are very different, right? Um, and we were averaging about $100 uh, a sale, you know, a customer, you know, same day. So what we're going to do is just go in here and I'm going to just show you all these ads are relatively the same. Um, this is, I would say, our most, our most, um, our most successful, but they were all pretty, pretty good. I mean, all of them were profitable. And you can see we had an image ad that had uh, one of the lower CPAs, but we used the, the video one mainly just because, um, you know, we had more success with it. So what you're looking at here is, is this, and it's evolved over time. When you write your e-com ads, there's a one, two punch that you want to have. And I would strongly suggest, and I, I always have the hardest time with, with companies I work with sometimes to get them to do a video, but do a video, even if you don't want to get in front of the camera, it's totally fine. If you don't, it's better than not it, 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 getting in front of the camera and having talk what I call talking head videos better, but just having a video for Facebook, especially it gives you all kinds of advantages. People like to see things. They generally stop to scroll more effectively and you get more placements, which makes the, the traffic less expensive. So what we did here, a lot of people get hung up on naming conventions. Just it's not that big a deal. As long as you know what you're looking at, that's really all that matters. But what you can see with the copy here <clears throat> is this, is, and this is the way we structure it. The, the head, what I call the headline, which is just, this is technically the headline, but we always call this the headline, the first line we see, right? Is start nailing targets up to 425 yards out day, you know, day or night. So the whole thing with this, this product is you would turn, you know, you could see here, like if you, if you play this video, he turned, you know, the guy that created this actually turns the, the red dot so you can see it. That's the name of the product. And he turns the dial so you can actually see the dot itself. It's not perfect. You can see it he moves around and stuff, but it, you can see how effective it was, right? What you want to do is the, the, the first line has to be the main benefit and it has to make a bold claim, but that claim has to be accurate. Like you can't just make something up that isn't true, right? What we found is we actually had customer feedback where they could hit targets at that range, up to that range. A after that, it was it was sketchy, so that's why we didn't put it because we couldn't make a claim like that. Now, the reason why that's a scroll stopper is the big thing with this crowd is they want to be able to hit targets, you know, accurately. But it's like kind of like golf, you know, the heart further and more accurate you can hit the ball, the bigger your you know your, your adrenaline rush. And it's the same thing for these guys. Now, I'm gonna let me read this the body copy to you. Retired Green Berets, DOD, D Department of Defense, and Compact Veterans have used this optic to double their accuracy and speed. Now get this tactical red dot for 50% off and free shipping. Click one or more. So what we did here is we put social, some social proof. Now the social proof, we did have a retired Green Beret who loved our product. We did have a guy, a couple guys that worked at the Department of Defense who loved their product. And we had, one of the Combat Veterans actually fought in the Black, Do uh, Black Hawk Down battle. Um, where the red dot, we told the story how that was the first time a red dot was deployed in a in a, bat, in a land battle. Um, just deciding that they were used in planes uh, during World War II, you know, in a different form. And of course, you know, the offer is get this tactical red dot for fifty percent off and free shipping. Okay. Now, over time, I've become more anti-discount, but you know, if you're just trying to get people into your funnel and get them to spend money, 
obviously it's going to work. Okay. Um, just to give you some stats for this. Okay. And I'm going to break down this, you know, another video where it's a talking head video. We're going to, you're going to get a couple examples, but you're going to see some similarities. This, this ad, you can see the click through rates are really good over 2%. Now I think the average is like 0.9. It's not, I want you to understand something when you write ads, a lot of people just, you'll see a lot of ads where it's just like one line, just one line. I would really implore you to not just stop there because if you get somebody's attention, you know, you want to turn that into interest. And if you just have one line, what you're banking on is that they've drawn enough of a conclusion to want to click through. But if you put more copy in there, especially like explain the benefits that they're going to get in the offer, you could turn that, you turn that in, attention into interest. And by the time they get to your, your sales page on your, on your store, or in this case, we did, you know, a, a separate funnel for this, you are going to experience better conversion rates and therefore make more money because you've pre-sold that and pre-framed that person to go buy it. I want to show you another example, a completely radically different product. And this is actually a current company. These are off because we're waiting for more uh, product to show up, but these were selling video game consoles. Now these were selling for $280 a piece. And you can see, you know, again, you know, we, uh, spent about $50,000. We spent most of our money on Google. We were spending about $1,000 a day on Google. So just bear that in mind. But you're going to see some similarities. And I'm going to go through the video in this. It's a talking head video where I'm talking about the product. But I'm going to go here because this is really something. Actually, I want to show you this video because this is more recent and the CPAs are still good. We would generally make about $350 top line a customer. Um, so they would buy usually a couple controllers. So what I, what I want to do here is break this down. So in this case, I put, hey, my name is Sean from Wayback Arcades. And for years, I wanted to get all my favorite games in one place. We found that this the conversion rates are actually better for this. Um, and and you're, I think you're going to see why. And without spending thousands of dollars on expensive arcade cabinets, we've, uh, well, finally I found, well, I well, finally I found something that does just that. Here's what you get. And then I list off all the benefits, 10,000 games and full HD two high responsive joysticks. And then I said, you know, and I put, you know, click the learn more to check button and check it out and use console to get 20% off that top line number. I'm telling you about was after, even after some people using discounts on them did, but here's really where I think the magic in this is, is, is this video. If you love playing and I'm classic. going to just basically, uh, you know, put it on mute. but what you're going to see here, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see this video right here. Okay, so sorry, I won't scroll down. That's okay. What I do in this video is I is this is a pure demonstration, just like you saw in the previous one. What you want to do in your your videos, if you're selling an e, a physical econ product, is to demonstrate it. The reason why is what happens is when someone's watching your video, they're they're getting a picture in their head of what this is going to look like to, to play or what it's going to look like if it's a coffee machine, like they could kind of almost smell the aroma of the coffee coming out of the machine, whatever it is, you want to have a demonstration. Now, if you're okay getting in front of the camera, then it's even more powerful because you can talk through all the benefits and explain like what they're going to love about it. Okay. Now, one of the things that I do in the video is I like in this part, you can see here, I'm just demonstrating how easy it is to plug into a TV. And later in the video, what, what you'll see probably about right here. Yeah, you can see like I'm showing them what these games look like on, on the console. And that really is very powerful. When you can show the product in action, they can picture what it's going to be like playing it. Okay. And I'm not a highly technical person, but this wasn't really that hard to do. So whatever it is you're doing, exercise equipment, food, whatever, show what it looks like. And you're going to get incredibly rewarded for that. And I don't care what the price point is. You, you're going to get really rewarded. Now, what I want you to do with this, with this information is I want you to just try to structure your ads this way. Introduce either the big problem that they're, they're facing or the big benefit you're, you're giving them. Now, one way or another, you're going to have each one in here. But you could test this. And you could try one, starting with one or the other. You don't have to do an insane amount of tests like you might see people say, I mean, if you've got a good product that sells, 
you just need to explain why it's, you know, like why it's good and give them proof and give them a reason to buy. It, okay. But let's, if you do the benefit, then do the problem. If you do the problem, then here's the solution we found to actually solve this problem. And you might say, well, what's, what's the pain point with video games? Well, these guys want to play these games, but they have to either buy something super expensive or they have to buy, or even in some cases more expensive, they have to buy a bunch of different consoles to do the same thing. This, this one thing will do in a central, you know, central uh, piece of machinery. Then what you want to do is, is introduce, in the, just the copy, introduce what the benefits are. And the, not the features per se, but benefits like 10,000 games and full HD, that's a, that's a feature. But what you want to really do, and this is probably something I could have even improved in this and it, as much as it made us, is, you know, say like, you know, you'll get, you know, it's like being able to play all your favorite games, you know, in the past with, you know, current technology to make them look where they look great, you know, something along those lines. Um, you always want to have a call to action in your ad so they know what they're getting. Okay. So when they get to the next page, and we'll get into that in a future video, they know exactly what's, you know, in store for them. Okay. The final thing that you want to do with your video, and I'm going to go into videos more in depth on a, on a different, on a different uh, recording, but you want to do the same exact thing, but you, this is your chance to put on a show. You want to put on a show. You don't have to be uh, super charismatic on camera. I'm not. Um, I just get enthusiastic about it because I, you know, I like to sell products that are fun. But what you want to do is you want to use the same structure. Big benefit or problem. Opposite, here's how we solved it. If it's a problem, you know, if it's a benefit, you know, here's the problem we had and here's how we got it, got past it. You know, transition to benefits, transition in, this, in the call to action. But don't do a one-line ad because you're really, you're really selling yourself short and you're not utilizing the opportunity that's in front of you, okay? So one, go ahead and look at your ads, restructure them this way. And what I want you to do is if you're watching this, you need help, just reach out to me. If you're on my email list, just hit reply to the email that you get. If you're on like LinkedIn or YouTube, just comment, you know, and just ask for help. And I'll, I, you know, I'm very responsive. Um, and I will see you in the next video.